Okay, well I have been soaking these hard-boiled eggs in, like this is vinegar, and uh, this this is a citric acid mixed with water until the, you know, the citric acid was sinking to the bottom. It was, you know, it was probably a third of a teaspoon, maybe, of citric acid mixed in that water. Now, when we started this experiment yesterday, last evening, the eggs were brown, and now neither one of them are brown anymore. So let's take a look, and I'm going to just rinse the solutions out of them. And I'm just kind of rinsing it off here. Okay, so now there's the egg that was soaked in vinegar. And then I'll, I'll rinse this one off. Kind of rubbing it a little bit just to try to get some of the rough edges. This this one seems to be a little bit, you know, that that is still hard. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the properties of these eggs. This is very soft and pliable. What that means is soaking overnight in vinegar completely removed the calcium from the from the shell. The shell is still there in in a sense, but it's more like a turtle shell or something soft. Instead of hard, you can actually bounce it. All right, now this one is still it's it's removed the brown, but it still feels a little hard. And you can you can crack it still. So this one has not removed all the calcium, but it's removed some of the calcium. Now, prior to this experiment, honestly, I was thinking that uh, citric acid was a better solution to wash the inside of a water cell when you did a vinegar wash, or I mean, you could that a citric acid wash was better. I prefer citric acid wash because it doesn't have the vinegar smell but I mean other than that really I think the vinegar wash is more effective as you can see the calcium is easily removed if you uh, if you want to get the instructions for doing a vinegar wash uh, just go to the blog post below this video and click on it so um, bottom line uh, citric acid works okay but not as good as vinegar and now why would you need to do a vinegar wash on a water ionizer um, two reasons one let's say your water ionizer uh, got scale in the hosing or the lines or in the spout and the water flow slowed down you would need to do a vinegar wash and that could happen to any water ionizer um, but if your P pH, let's say, um, your ionization levels reduced over time, then that would be an indication that your plates might have some scale on them. Or maybe not so much scale, but just even the slightest film of calcium on the plates would reduce the ionization. Now a couple of ionizers will never need a vinegar wash for that reason. The Athena right here is one of them. Uh, it has continuous cleaning, so it will never need this. It, from the from the day you buy it till the you know 20 years later or whatever, it it is going to give you the same ionization. Uh, if the water is flowing through it, it will ionize. 
and that that's just the nature of continuous cleaning. So okay, um, I learned something and hope you did too.